Let's start with the glazed quail with dates and a grilled eggplant coconut yogurt. It's nice and bright. Mmm. It's just like a flavor explosion in every bite. It's absolutely delicious, unexpected. So good. This coconut and grilled eggplant yogurt is awesome. You get the sweetness from those dates. There's a Pacific Northwest San Francisco quality to this dish. The chef is very confident. Abishar and Shona, tell us what you made. We prepared a lobster sinomono, double cream, coffee, and stout reduction inside with carbonated grapes and free coffee on top. What were you guys going to do prior to the mashup? I was going to do more of a curry double cream underneath with beer, because beer was my ingredient. And instead, we focused on textural components and different flavors. It's really nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. I absolutely loved Abishar and Shoda's dish. It was beautifully composed. Lobster's perfectly cooked. And I love the richness of the sauce. It just sung to me. Coffee and beer are, are going to be bitter, but they balance it with some sweetness. And then I think a modern technique of carbonating fruit, it's a great time to use this. That fizz at the end, you're like, oh, that's interesting. My plate is empty. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> making a chili sauce that's kind of like a play on the hot sauce from the Guyanese restaurant. My style of cooking comes from my roots. There's a certain soulfulness in my grandmother's cooking and my aunt's cooking that I want to honor them. I am nervioso. So I was inspired by the Guyanan cuisine. So I made curried goat, crispy roti, and fondant potatoes. And the green sauce is a play on pepper sauce. What do you think of John's goat curry and roti? I love the fact that it's on the bone. This like green puree. Oh, it's so good. It's so bright. I want a jar of it. <laughs> she nailed the inspiration when it comes to these flavors. It's the first dish that I want the recipe for. That, that was my favorite. That was really good. Don, how'd it go? <sighs> I don't know. I made a Korean style fried chicken. Enjoy, guys. Myron's mm. chicken was crispy, flavorful. Yeah. It was what I want to be eating while I'm sitting and watching the movie. Like, yeah. I love the method with the, which we ate yeah. it. That, that, was, that was really tasty. Bang it. So crispy. So crispy. You know, I really liked the gochujang chicken much better than the wing. Please get ready to vote for round one comedy, Byron's Korean Fried Chicken or Jamie's Rubber Chicken Chicken Wing. The votes are in for round one comedy. The first point goes to Byron and the Green Team. Yes, guys. So that's one point for the green team, zero for the yellow team. So I'm a huge fan of plums. The plums have been slow cooked, smoked, and then glazed. The jus is made from a variety of all the fruit on the farm with a little bit of pork and chicken. What did you think when you found out you weren't going to have vegetables for this challenge? Actually, I feel like it was a, a nice leveling of the playing field and really showing everyone showing their cards to get after it. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. I want to do this real quick, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. Wow. I know. This is the best thing I've eaten so far. <laughs> Gabe's masterful when it comes to sauce making. Mm -hmm. The plum had so much integrity, but was soft and so beautifully smoked. Gabe's dish is weird, like fruit with gravy. Like, no, I, really. I, I hear you, but that's what comes out of these challenges. You normally wouldn't do that, but because it's a fruit challenge, why not gravy and fruit? This is amazing. Yeah. We should see more gravy and fruit.